Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So today I'm using the Planners Anonymous Shop Till You Drop kit to decorate this week in my planner. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so my challenge to myself with this one is not to use one of the weekly uh, sticker kind of kits that you get here. And not because they're not gorgeous, because they so are. It's actually really hurting me to not use, especially this one. Um, but I have found I've fallen into a bit of a rut with, with using those. I just go straight to them and I forget about the rest of the kit. So I'm going to try really hard to use other things. So I'm going to use the other stickers from the sticker book. Uh, and I'm going to try and use mostly these stickers and then some paper and then the washi tapes. So for the washies, I kind of want to do like the banners on each kind of line. I love these little banners. They are so super cute. So I think I'm going to start there and then we'll build out. So if we're starting there, the first thing I need to do is white out all of the days of the week. So this is just using correction tape, but obviously you can use um, correction fluid if you prefer. I just like the tape because it's dry straight away. Whoops, I forgot the Y. And then we'll go ahead and pop the tape down. I'm going to do it on, on a, definitely on the, the three in the middle. I'm thinking about the top because I've got to obviously sort of, sorry, two, yeah, three in the middle. Um, think about what I'm doing for the the top and the bottom as well. So we'll do these ones first. Oh, they're just so cute. Oops, not that one. I didn't know that. And the good thing is that it does... Like, you can still see the correction tape there. It's still there. But the colours of everything else will, will move your eye away from it. So it's not the worst thing in the world if they sort of pop out at the bottom. And then I'm just trying to decide if I want to do anything with the shop fronts and the flowers at the top or the bottom or if I just want to leave them as they are. I kind of like the idea of having the shops at the bottom. Let's just see what they look like. So I'm trying to line it up so that the bottom of the shops is at the bottom of my page. So I'm going to just have a little bit to trim off, which is fine. So let's just see what that looks like. Oh no, that does look very pretty. All right, we'll go with that. And then I'll put the standard washi at the top with the flowers. think I'm gonna pop a row of the flags on the top as well and then put the flowers on top of that so I'm just gonna have a look at what that looks like that's gorgeous love that cool so I'll do that on both sides and just cut off all the excess So we've got those on, so then let's come in with our days and our dates, because that's the next sort of most important thing. I'm just thinking if I want to have them, um... yeah I do. So I'm going to do uh, what I usually do with PA ones, I know there's not a background to it, but it's just a preference now. I just prefer to have them as the shapes as opposed to the, the squares or the, the rectangles that they kind of come with, and this is just, it's... 
it's not easy to do, it's just fussy cutting, but it's not, it's not horribly complicated, it's just a, a time thing, and if you've got the time and you, and you want to do it, I think you should. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these off and just stick them down. Where did my tweezers go? Still haven't packed, unpacked from my little planner visit the other week. I just think it gives them a much more finished kind of look, so that's why I do it. So I'm going to go ahead and, and stick all of, or cut all of these, stick all of these down, put the numbers on, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys something. Um, the numbers with the circles here are just a little bit big for me, and that's personal preference. Again, kind of like the outside of the uh, of the date. So what I'm doing is just grabbing my hole punch, which has got a much smaller circle, and I'm just punching out the ones I need. And then I can just take the sticker sheet off the back. Uh, the only thing you just need to be careful of here is obviously that you don't uh, lose the dot. And at the moment it's easy because I'm working with one, two, three, four, five. This next one here is going to be the hardest one, I think, because it's 31 and I'm nowhere near it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the little heart one, just pop it there, move the 31 into there, and then I'll be able to punch that. And then I just need the 30. So I'm going to do the exact same thing and take out that one that is not useful. Pop in the 30, so it's in the same hole as it just was. Obviously now it's got the the stick exposed, as opposed to having the little bit on the back like it did before. Didn't punch it as nicely, so it's got a little bit of leftover. But then I can pop that on and it looks a little nicer. If you like a slightly bigger hole even than this one, but still smaller than what your sticker kit has, um, you can grab a, a hole punch, like you can grab hole punches that have different size holes. Um, I've noticed that my, the one I have from Jay Burrows, so hold on, I'll grab it in just a sec. I just need to get this off my finger. This one here, this has a slightly bigger hole than my Kiki K ones. And then I've also got the We Are Memory Keepers uh, Cropodile Hole Punch. That has bunches of different sizes of holes. So if you are someone that likes to do sticker surgery and, and make things really custom to what you like, uh, something like that is a really good way. And you can always just put it on, stick these down onto a an old carrier sheet. If I keep I keep all my old carrier sheets for this exact reason, it means I can do things to stickers that I wouldn't be able to otherwise. So it's just something to think about. Okay, so now we've got all of those. I'm going to use the fold-out sticker. I haven't used one in for so long. Uh, I've got to remember how to do it. 
it's not that way, it's that way. I did remember. And then it folds in like this. Uh, but I'm going to do the same thing I just did uh, with my other stickers. And I'm just going to just give it a bit of a haircut. So I'm just coming around the edges of the, the top, the bottom and the side. Not cutting, of course, the, the edge that's got the folding. Because that would be bad. Actually, I won't even do the side. I'm just doing the top and the bottom. Alright, so I've got the days. I've got the dates. Let's go for some deco. So I'm going to pop in... I want to use... I want to use some more of the flowers, especially at the bottom. I want to bring in some of these pretty florals. I am deliberately trying to use more of the this sticker sheet just so that anyone sort of is looking at it and going, oh, she's using that a lot. I'm doing that on purpose. But that said, there might not be actually somewhere for that to go, which is okay. I'm popping that down where all those days and stuff were because I won't need to use them. Like, that's a good place for it to live. I do want to use this girl because she's just beautiful. I'm going to pop her just here. Oh, I just love that. I'm going to bring in, grab the dress. I'm going to pop, I'm going to pop this banner down just over here. So I'm just going to trim it out as well. Same way I did all the others. Actually, no, I'm not. This is where I'm going to grab some of these functionally kind of ones in the back here. So I'm actually just going to move these. So I'm just going to pick this one up. PA stickers do have a little bit of give to them. So I have some time here that I don't need to use the undo. So I can get in and under them. But if I have any kind of trouble, I can just bring the undo in. So I'm going to pop in one of these blue ones as a header and use uh, a couple of these list ones for, for mail. I don't think I have a lot. So I think I can get away with just one. And I'm just going to cover up that top one. I still like the... Um, the bunting coming out from behind them. I think that looks really cool. And then I'm going to pop in the dress back in the middle and I can put the book back in on the side. There we go. And then we had physio last week, so we don't have physio this week. I do have swimming, of course, on Saturday, so we can pop that in. And then I'm having some friends over to my place on Sunday, so we can put that in. Feel like I'm just getting boxes all down the side here, but that's okay. Oh, 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 oh. Can I? What have I got? I'm just seeing if I've got like a, a line of. I know I've got the corners of flowers. I was just seeing if I had any with just a line of them, but I don't think I do. I'm going to grab this pink shopping bag out of the clear ones and pop that. Over there, so that's my mail. Well, oh, actually, hold on. I'll put the the parcel on instead because that makes more sense. Makes more sense. Um, I'm just gonna pop it down the. No, I'm not. I just don't like the um, the bunting being behind this one because I it just looks weird. So I'm just grabbing my craft knife, just running that round the little bits of the the washi tape. I can actually just pull that bit of tape out and then I can put the parcel down on its own. Ah, perfect. I seriously must stop doing this, but anyway, I'm just leaving them off to the side because I might still use them. We'll see. I'm going to grab this one with the envelope and have that as my shopping list means I'm going to do two things. I'm going to move this one over. Very 
French chic, which ob is is obvious, but it um it sort of does it in a subtle way, which is nice. Um, I want this little puppy. He's so cute. He can sit up there. I've got the bouquet of flowers. They can go on the right. I need something. I need something there. I am going for the the sticker sheet first. It's it's a deliberate act. It's not a, a me avoiding the sticker book. It's just I'm trying to use these stickers because I just don't reach for them as often. And that's the sticker book has it all right there. It's just so easy. So I'm just trying to break my own habit. And I'm just looking. I'll put my daycare stickers in later. You guys don't need to see that. I'll leave that as it is. And I'm just looking to see if there's anything else I want to put in. I'm kind of, I feel like something's missing up here, but I don't know what. And everything I look at, I'm kind of like, no, I don't want you there. So I'm going to grab one of the minis. I'm going to pick up Mr. Puppy. I'm going to move Mr. Puppy into the middle a little bit more because he's just shoot, shoot. I'm going to pop little Miss Minnie in the corner here. I'm just going to trim off the excess and then punch the little hole because she is sort of straddling it just a little. I like the way she pops out there. And then just to even it, I'm going to put one of the, the other little girls over here. All right. I think, I think I am happy. I'm just having one more look. No, I think I'm happy there. I'm going to use this little one as just an extra little thing there because it's been sitting on the back of my hand so I might as well but I'm I'm not I'm not in love with it but it is nice to do something different than my normal stick the stickers kit down and that's it uh, there is obviously a lot you can do with these kits and I feel like it's the it's been the slight change in the in the way it has been designed and it, I love the way it's been changed but it's a it has become easier to just do the stickers without having to do, oh, something crazy. I've just had a thought. Is there any of the die cuts that I want to use? I always forget about the die cuts. It's really bad. Shoes, parcel. What have we got? Oh, that's right. It's got all the big stuff. They were all a little oversized for what I wanted to use. I still love that piggy bank. So cute. Yes, these ones were all the big ones. So this is another fun thing about the kits is that some months you get a bunch of little die cuts and other months you get really like a lot of really big ones. This just happened to be a month of big ones and that's fine. Just keeps you on your toes. Um, but it's the fun of it's the fun of you never know what you're gonna get. So that's my week using Shop To Your Drop from Planners Anonymous. I do have the brand new uh, kit that I just got, Girls Trip, that is coming up for you tomorrow as a bonus. And then on Friday, I have my Serenity special release haul, uh, which I'll share with you then. So it's a bit of a PA week. That's okay. They happen. Uh, but I just, I really do love the florals in this kit. They are gorgeous. Um, I think the flowers are probably my favourite part. Um, and if I'm going to do another week, I can promise you I'm going to be using... Uh, this one because even though it's floral it is so different because it's just got those punches of blue uh, so I think that one would be a really challenging one to use so if you'd like to see that please let me know if you did enjoy this one give it that big old thumbs up don't forget to subscribe there's lots more PA coming this week but also back uh, on my channel for old kits if you want to check them out using the playlist at the end I hope you guys have an awesome week and I will catch you again in my next video sending lots of huggles bye